Hey, Internet! It's Colorful Artie! Welcome back to Pup Hunt and Pep's Balloonorama! So, we only have 30 levels left in the game. Let's take out another 10 of them, shall we? Today, we're going to the Humongous Carnival. Ready to do something really fun? <laughs> so, yeah, we are actually at, like, a carnival, like, prize booth. So, as you can see, we've got Freddy, Luther, uh, Little Doll, Fatty Bear, Buzzy the Knowledge Bug? Which is actually a series I never played. Or, I, ha I have played, but I haven't Let's Played. We've got the chicken and the cow from Let's Explore the Farm with Buzzy the Knowledge Bug, and we have what appears to be the lion from Reader Rabbit Preschool. Anyways, enough dawdling. So much like how I misremembered Fatty Bear's house as a kid, I swear that, like, as a kid I remember this just being, like, a toy store window with, like, nothing but the dolls. That is a great sound effect, by the way. Duh! And of course, ducks. Anybody who knows Colorful Artie in real life will know he loves ducks. Ducks are some of the greatest animals. Unfortunately, this is... This is, like, one of the few world... Actually, the only world where the music kind of gets on my nerves after a while. Especially since this world tends to be a little bit tricky. Like, slightly easier than Fatty Bear's house, I feel like, but... Still not, like... Easy. And we're also gonna be seeing a lot of spinners in this world, so... Man, I do love all the sound effects in the background that are, like, throwbacks to other Humongous Entertainment games. Like, the Batuba sound effect, uh... As I was saying, there's like a sound effect in the background occasion where it's like Ptuba. That's from Papa Goes to the Moon. From Alien Tag. Which by the way, if you don't know that game, I have let's played it, and I think you should watch it. Shameless self-promotion. And wow, that question mark balloon is just going nuts. Can it be the magnet boots? Which I have not shown off yet. Super Pep, I will happily take that. I will never say no to Super Pep. Oh, and Super Pep is not affected by bumpers or spinners. Which is very nice. I'm also not sure if he's affected by paint buckets. We're about to find out. No, 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 no! Darn it! Putt Putt, you get stunned for so long while you have that bucket. But I wanted green Putt Putt. That was more important to me than Super Pep. Actually, not really, but I, f I thought I could make it without losing Super Pep. Should have known better. Take that Walmart mascot! That joke's old. That joke was probably old the first or second time I told it, so I should stop. Lots of prizes in this world, and lots of candy, and wow, we're already on the fourth level. This is clearly the Buzz Lightyear level, with all the green, blue, and purple balloons. All we need is a few white balloons, and it will be the perf full color scheme. Whoop! Nice. I'm always happy when I can get a confetti combo just without Super Pep. Much easier in the later worlds than in the earlier ones. Yes! Duh! I'm trying to remember what the duck sound effect is from, because it sounds familiar. It's gonna come to me, like, when I'm at work tomorrow. I'm gonna be, like, doing spreadsheets and then it's like, Oh, I remember! It's from B Let's Explore the Jungle with Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. That's not actually what it's from. Wow. Uh, 
Oh, that balloon is annoying. Both of these balloons are annoying. They're in incredibly hard to reach areas. Okay, this is not working. Pep, can you please stop doing this? Man, these two balloons, like, you just can't reach! That bumper is in just the wrong place. And that balloon is just, like, incredibly difficult because of where I'm positioned right now. There we go. This game can get quite frustrating. Oh darn it, I was on my last life. Aw, oh, rats. I was hoping the Balloonorama videos would be like 10 minutes a piece. Last one was like 18 or 19 minutes, so... Not very happy with that. Maybe I can edit it down somewhat. But anyways, I need to focus on the commentary for this video. So, how are you guys doing? There we go, we took out the annoying balloon. Okay, seriously, the duck sound effect is driving me crazy. Like, what it's from. So that's a very distinct duck sound effect. Wah. Fink, 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 fink. What is that duck sound effect from? It's definitely from a computer game. Pot enters the race, maybe? No. I don't know. I need to stop. Ooh, three circles of balloons with bumpers inside. Blah. Oh, I know what the duck sound effect is from Maze Madness. The bonus enemy duck. Of course. Anyways, that's that mystery solved. Now we can go back to bashing Pep's head on bumpers. Okay, but yeah, that, you see the little dolly in like the lower left corner of the prize booth? I remember this world being like a toy store window with nothing but those dolls everywhere. But with like blonde hair. I have no idea how those bumper physics worked, but I will take it. Thank goodness these are just singular balloons and not special hidden prize balloons. Yep. Yeah, like right here, it's so easy to just get like screwed because you're in the wrong place and no matter where you throw Pep, he just bumps right off. Yay! That's not good. That is good. Oh! Oh! Wow! If there are bumpers, it's quite a bit easier to get the spaceship on level 95. Bonus level. Ooh. These spaceships actually bob. Well, pff, that was a successful bonus level. I can't even imagine what the old, like, the world record for a high score in this game is. If you never die and collect, like, everything, it would be insane. Especially if you were good at comboing. Bam!
I am happy that the designers never made, like, masochistically evil levels. Like, the Junior Arcade games are pretty good about making the difficulty fair. Unlike the Lemmings community. <laughs> well, I mean, the Lemmings levels are fair, but it's just, like, absurd difficulties. The Junior Arcade games never get insanely hard. Never gets to the level of Bear Storming. Stupid pig. Okay, that was a literally a no-win situation. <laughs> if I had caught Pep, I would have hit the bowling ball and he would have dropped anyways. I didn't know pearls were blue! I've asked, mateys! Hope you like spinners! Ah, spinners. They have make no sense. Well, thank you for that. I always will think of that one fish from Freddy Fish 4 going, Duh! When I hear that sound effect. And of course the one baddie from Spy Fox 3, but we'll get to those Let's Plays eventually. Okay, that question mark balloon is just in an evil place, because you either hit a spinner or you hit a bumper. So you're pretty much reliant on the spinner taking you to the right place. That was not the right place. Come on! Magnet boots! Yes! You can move around and then launch Pep. You can also still throw him at an angle. It's amazing. Woot! I finally got to show them off. This level's just nasty. Because this level is pretty much just entirely luck based. Where, uh, whether or not the spinners want to be nice to you. You'll get it eventually, but you could end up dropping Pep a lot. Especially if you don't have magnet boots. Accept Pep. You will accept Pep. Okay, now that's just not fair. Yeah, like, look at this! The, they just keep rejecting me over and over again. This is so incredibly unfair. Let me get up there! Thank you! I would very much like to do that again. Bad thing is these magnet boots are not going to last forever. <gasps> Super Pep! That is exactly what I needed. Because Super Pep doesn't go for spinners. He does, he just doesn't activate the spinners when he goes through them. Woohoo! Pep is really good now. Man, the Magnet Boots last a long time, much longer than Super Pep. Let's blow this popsicle stand. That's funny, because it actually is a stand. Well, this looks like a boring level. Of course, we know that's going to change. Oh no, my boots burned out. Take that, spaceship. 
Oh, I love the crescent moon balloons. And the piggy balloons. They just bring back my childhood. Immediately. No Walmart allowed. I am colorful arty and I do not endorse Walmart. I'm not saying Walmart is terrible, but I wouldn't go there. I'd go to Meyer. Stop making trash balloons appear! By Super Pack. And hey, this is level 100. Feels like I haven't done 100 levels. Guess time flies. Time flies when you're forced to do every level because you're Let's Playing. Okay, I have to have made almost all the balloons appear by now. Do, 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 do. So I've run out of commentary to say, so I'll just say this. Have you guys ever had homemade ice cream sandwiches? You take two, like, homemade cookies, freeze them, put a scoop of ice cream between them, and then eat it? Oh man. Let me tell you, there's nothing like it. Particularly if you make chocolate chip cookies. Oh man, those are boss. And it's time for bonus level. Bonus level. That's what I said. This time I'm not gonna drop pep immediately. At least I'm not going to. I'm gonna try hard to not drop pep immediately. Wee! It's pep! Make way for pep in space! Ah, uh, that's okay. I've collected enough prizes. That's where we're going to leave the episode off for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie, and I hope to see you for the next episode. We'll be going to a new world, and let me tell you, it is out of this world. Have a great day, and God bless.